Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on your Thursday. Here's what we're watching for you. Still looking pretty quiet as we round out the work week. We will be seeing more clouds than sun, and we've still got some areas of fog and additional fog possible tomorrow morning. Precipitation chances still looking likely for this weekend, and we may even see a few more drops here in the Southern Valley. Most of it still going to remain to the north. And first alerting you to next week's system that looks to be taking shape that could bring us here rain and snow chances. We've still got some questions. We'll let you know what those are. Currently 44 degrees here in Fargo. Visibility back up to 10 miles. So we've seen most of that fog lifting. Still looking a little foggy there on the camera. Moorhead currently 45 degrees. Grand Forks at 45. Feels like 42. Light wind out of the south, six miles an hour, and visibility 10 miles at the airport as well. Temperatures a little cooler across eastern North Dakota, where we've had the fog this morning. Slower to warm, 38 degrees in Jamestown, 37 Devil's Lake, Langdon, and Oaks, 47 in Aberdeen, the warm spot, 40 in Bemidji, 43 Baudette, 45 in Hallock. Satellite and radar showing some clearing skies off to the west, so hoping for a little bit more of that clearing to work its way into the valley. But we've got some isolated showers right up along the international border. Not even certain that all of that's making it to the ground. Regardless, that's lifting up to the north, so expecting a pretty dry day. Temperatures across uh, North Dakota this afternoon, upper 30s to places like Fargo in the mid 40s and generally in the low to mid 40s uh, east of the Red River for northwestern Minnesota as well. Let's take a look at your first alert forecast. A few areas of fog hanging on. That's what the dark gray indicates. The lighter gray here is cloud cover. So watching that fog dissipate, watching a little bit more clearing for southeastern North Dakota. Just how much of that clearing can we see before sunset tonight? Overnight, a little bit more clearing for more of the region and in the wake of that clearing, the potential for more fog into tomorrow morning. So first alert heads up for your Friday morning commute might be a little foggy. Once again, temperatures in the 30s by lunchtime for our Friday, warming up into the 40s, which we stay above average cloud cover building back in Friday night ahead of our next system. But temperatures tomorrow afternoon, this is midday, three o'clock, 40s to near 50 degrees. Saturday, the first half of the day looking pretty quiet. Then our next system still set to arrive. Some wintry mix and some snow, mostly out to the west. Can't rule out a few flakes in northeastern North Dakota. Some strong northwesterly winds. And as I mentioned, most of the precipitation going to be to the north, but can't rule out some isolated showers in the Southern Valley. And as far as next week, we are still eyeing a storm system moving into the Northern Plains. Confidence still low here in our area, but we are watching it. Looking at your planning forecast all the way through the weekend, temperatures looking pretty good. And then next week, still looking at highs in the 20s and 30s with some wind too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yesterday those uh, 30s for the highs after this 11 day, they were a little bit higher. Now they're getting lower. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. <laughs> Summer, thanks.